Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Judy and today I am going to be doing what is called rip strips from Off Cuts. Um, my friend Sharon, who is with Texture Junkies on um, YouTube, and I will of course link her below. Um, she also is in the group in Facebook, um, Happy Paper People. And uh, so she had asked if I wanted to play a little game, a little crafting game, and I said sure. And so what it is, is that we're doing these rip strips from our scraps. And then I tag a friend, and then that friend needs to come in and do the same thing, and then they can tag somebody else. So it's like really fun. Um, the only things that you need to do, and excuse my cat is getting ready to walk right across here. She's new to the fold, and she kind of like... I haven't gotten used to doing videos with her around just yet, and evidently vice versa. So, Sammy, move your hiney there. Um, <laughs> all right, so let's get on with it. So you just basically use your scraps, tag a friend, use the hashtag um, <clears throat> Texture Junkies um, in your title um, of your video, and then uh, basically finally have fun. Um, so that's what the rules are, and I'm going to list all that down in the description so that everybody has it. And um, so I'm ready to do this. I did make a few in advance that I'll show you real quick because I didn't want to stay on real long. Um, <clears throat> but I'm going to make a few. Um, but these are what I got from Sharon. And um, you put them on a little ring, which I have right here. And... Um, then you could use them in all your journals and projects, mixed media or whatnot. Um, there actually were a couple in here that I did just put in a project of mine um, that I'm uh, finishing right now. I'm working on an Asian journal and um, so still trying to complete that um, very close. Uh, but aren't these gorgeous? I mean, you trade these with somebody, which I would like to trade mine with someone so that they have something different to use in their um, projects. So... Yeah, and then these are the ones that I made the other day, and I'll just show you those real quick. I'm going to be actually posting them in the Happy Paper People uh, Facebook group. If you want to check them out again, you can. Um, I uh, hope that you do go over and uh, check out the Texture Junkie uh, channel that I link below. She's very crafty and creative and lots of fun to hang with. Um, and so... Um, let me go ahead and get started. Um, what I did is I have like tons of scraps and everything. Um, but, um, I just went ahead and got out like a little baggie that I have here. Um, a little zippered envelope, uh, that I keep things in. Uh, so what I like to do is try to, it's kind of nice if you can start off with something that already has texture on the base of it is what I kind of like to do. And then you can add more texture to it. Um, let's see here. Uh, what I got in here uh, to start off with. Kind of want something a little bit solid. Alright. Let's start off with this. This already has texture on it. Um, and I actually believe I got this in a package from Sharon, as a matter of fact. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rip me a piece to have for my rip strip. And I'm going to rip it to about like that. I think that will be perfect. It already has my texture on it. Lots of beautiful gold. So that's a great starting point. Um, <clears throat> and then uh, I'll see what else I want to add to it. Um, now, I did have some cuts of this lady here but I think that might be too that might not be dark enough I'd like to use her in a rip strip I have actually have several of her and uh so let's see here all right I want to kind of get something a little bit with some lots of pretty color in it and I had this medallion that I ripped off a scrap of paper um that's kind of pretty I might use that let's see what else I got to have this little a uh, baggie of some scrap stuff that I had put away of some washi and such. Let's see if any of this looks like anything I may want to use. Uh, not those. Oops. Let's see here. 
Yep, I just kind of grabbed some stuff with strips in it to see. Uh, now I could probably use some of this on here, like maybe one of the words off of it. Uh, I got this beautiful piece from um, Lisa at Serious Heka. Let's see here. So let's just... It's something with a lot of color, so... Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, that's too big. I don't know what I want to cut off of it. Um, well, it kind of really doesn't matter. It doesn't even have to be the whole word, now does it? I'm going to go ahead and... I know I can't rip this scrap, but... I don't think it says in the rules that you can't cut with other things that are scraps that are a little bit harder to rip. Or I can... And I'm not going to worry about how I'm cutting it. I want it to be like, you know, jaggedy edges, just rough, rough looking. Does it need to be? Oh, look there. Really good. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect. That's what's fun about this is playing. And uh, I find that a lot of fun. So I'm going to go ahead. Let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get my trusty glue here. I like using my Elvers, Elvers, <laughs> Elmer's Craft Bond glue. The only thing I don't like about glue sticks is they're so messy. But then again, it's fun to get messy when you play with art. So I'm going to stick that down. And... To give some more texture, I actually had, I don't think I'll use it on something different. Okay, let's see what else I got here. Uh, something even more bright. This was a leftover piece of paper that I had gotten. Um, and it's got lots of cool stuff on it. And I wasn't going to use it for anything, so to me it's a scrap. Um... I really want to brighten this up. Do I want to use this side? I think I will. I'm just going to tear a piece that I like the looks of. And yeah, let's see here. Rip off a hunk. I'm going to glue that down. And I really don't think when I do this, I'm just trying to, I'm trying to, I am thinking about how I want it to look to a certain degree, but not completely. Um, you know, I want it to be just different. And if it hangs off the side a little bit, you can either trim it off or leave it. I may leave it. And, you know, when you're looking at it right now, it might look like, oh, this isn't much, you know, because it, it's just not going to at first. So, <laughs> and let's see what else I got. I'm going to look in my bag of scraps here. <sighs> and another thing I like to use, too, is pages out of the Somerset Studio books. Um... I do do that a lot. That's very, very nice. All right. That's not bright enough. A lot of my colors are kind of muted in here. But we can also add layers of color as well. So. I am going to work completely strictly off of this. So, all right. How about we add a little bit of purple and green to it, huh? That ought to be interesting, right? Let's tear up just a hunk of that. do with it if I want to do a portion like right there bring it down here kind of brings out a little bit of that green in there I think I will Oops. and I do have the dropsies today I swear I have dropped tons of stuff 
that this is. It's just so much fun. And I've, it's really relaxing to do collage, I have found. It's just, oh, I love it. I absolutely love it. How did I have that so I didn't? There we go. And I don't want to end up covering everything on here. I do want to be able to see some of that. So you kind of got to watch out for that too, because I don't want to cover up all of that, but I do want you to be able to see some of it. Um, sprays and inks and stamps are really nice to use as well. Uh, let's see here. You could put string on it. You could uh, put anything, like I said, that's been embossed on it. Really want you could put stickers on it. Dried flowers. I mean, just anything that you can think of. I still want something bright on this one. Let's see here. This was a piece off of... This is a piece out of a mixed medium of my Somerset studio. And I don't know that I like that with that at all, so... And I could have probably had thought all of this out before I started the video, but I kind of like to just, I did to a certain degree, but I like to fly by the seat of my pants too, because I don't like to just create right before I get on, on here. So, heck, oh goodness. All right. a nice piece of paper. It's got some really cool stamps on it. A crown. There's a seal. Royal Postal Service. Oh, I like the hat, for one thing. And that green. Now I can mix that up, and you can layer on your strips, which I think is what I'm going to do. I'm going to put that there. Probably going to put that there. we still got some of our thing there. And let's see here. Now we're going to do a postage stamp too. I love stamps. Stamps are cool. And then of course I'm going to leave these in my scrap bag because I can reuse them at any time. I'll throw some of this other stuff in here that I thought about using and be able to use it for later. All right. So, let's go ahead and get that on there as well. Or do I want to do this up here? That here, maybe? I don't know. Let's see here. Well, I might have to rip some more of this off. Um, I want the crown down here, but I'm going to take it a little bit more off. Just so I don't have all this moving off of here. All right, and I think I'm gonna do it like this across there. That way we're layering it up a little bit more. All right, and then postage, I'm gonna take some of that down. Everything sticks to my fingers. <laughs> The other side of it looks pretty cool, too. All right. And I'm going to do this. I'm going to save a little spot for my hole up there. Uh, go ahead and put this on there. There we go. And I think I'm going to put that there. All right, then what I'm going to do, and I've actually been standing up here for a little bit. Um, I like to stand up and craft sometimes rather than... Okay, so I think that's all I'm going to put on that specific one. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to punch a hole in the top. So I can put it on the ring when I'm done. And now what I'm going to do is I want to add some more color to it. So I'm just going to get out my uh, oil pastels. And I am going to 
choose something out of there. Make sure I got them framed still. Um, all right. And I want to put something bright around the edges. And I've got pinks and greens, and I could still put some more uh, pink into it. Let's see here. Or maybe some more blue, but I got the greens in there. Let's see here. I think... Uh, I hate that. It's always such indecision about my part when I go to put. Uh, I was doing these the other day, and I don't. I think it's just because I get on video, and I just am like, oh, I don't think as much when you're not being watched, obviously. So I'm going to take this, and I'm going to get um, this on the edges. Of my rip strip especially like on the white edges and I've been having fun playing with uh, oil pastels I actually had never used them ever for some reason I was um, intimidated by them <laughs> I guess you could say because I had them for a long time and I just couldn't decide what to do with them. So, and I'm going to add a little bit of this color around in different spots. All right. And then I want to do another color because I'm going to blend it in. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a blue of some sort, but maybe like this blue green here. And just go wherever I feel like going with it. And then I'll blend it in and hope for the best because I'm just kind of like willy-nilly putting it places um, more than my eye feels like doing it. All right. And if it's not enough, you can always add more. And then um, a lot of times you can use um, just your finger or you can use a paper towel or you can use uh, a Q-tip. And I like to use the Q-tip most of the time if I've got little projects rather than my finger or a paper towel. And one thing that mixes it really well, if I can grab it here, I didn't have it ready at my hands, is baby oil. Baby oil, um, we'll put stuff in that pastel. Blend it really well. And it smells good while you're working. <laughs> so I'm just going to take one of these and I'm going to blend it around. And actually, what I'm going to do, give me just a moment here. I want to put down a paper so that I'm not getting my board all messed up. Um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use this piece of paper that I found that was ready handy. Uh, and of course, it's going to give your stuff a shine, so... You have to let it dry, but this will blend it in really well, and I'll be able to tell what I want to do to it more or less. It's nice too if you can have it look like the pieces kind of blend into your tag too. It's kind of nice to me. Kind of the gold still is coming through. I can wipe it some more. Take off a little bit more of the color if I don't feel like I've had too much on it. Okay. All right. I think that's kind of cool looking. Uh, it's not my favorite out of every one I've done, but for doing it so quick, I think it's pretty cool. And I'm going to leave my stuff, I think, hang off of this one, or maybe trim this part a little bit. I kind of like that green hanging off at the bottom, though, so I'm going to leave that. All right, so there you have your 
my first one that I did. Just kind of quick and easy. And when it dries, this will kind of probably lighten up a little bit too. Because it's going to go through from, you know, it's wet from the baby oil. But it'll lighten up a little bit. But I like it. It's highlighted. It's got, you know, colors go well together. And uh, I think it's kind of cool. But let's see if we can get an even better one. Okay, so let's start out with... Uh, again, I want to start out with something that has texture. Um, and I think, let's see. Oops. I think I had baby oil on my hands there and I got slick. All right, let's see here. And they don't have to be real big, too. You can do smaller ones. So I think we'll do, let's see here. I think we're going to do this. And I am going to take this that's already embossed with words on it. And I am going to rip it that way. And I'm going to, let's see, do I want to I can rip it a little bit on the edge here? Not much because I kind of want you to be able to get the just of maybe what the word still is unless I you know cover it up <laughs> and of course put the rest in there for my the rest of my projects and I want to go ahead and rip the bottom of it as well I'm gonna make it go a little sideways there a little wonky and we're gonna go from there I'm going to see if maybe, just maybe, my little girl or my lady with the umbrella will look okay on here. And she just may. Uh, let's see here. I actually have a few of her that I cut out. And I cut her out and I never did use her. So she, I just like the punch. Or not the punch, but the die and I just really liked it so let's see here I'm going to use the darkest one I think on this and it might be kind of cool to use two and kind of flip it around and then maybe I can just add my color to it you know just something different uh, let's see. Well, first of all, I'm going to punch a hole in it just to make sure what I, I don't want to go over the hole. All right. So I think I'm going to use my lady, my girl with the umbrella. And some glue on her. All right. I think I got enough to sticker on there all right let me see here and we'll stick her like this that way she's up and over that little hole there we go not enough on her hand we'll fix that there we go very cool very cool. I like her on that. I like her on that a lot. Let's see. Another one. Uh, this one's got a lot of glue into it. I can even do it upside down, too, couldn't I? That would be interesting, wouldn't it? <laughs> kind of crazy, though, wouldn't it? Yeah, but, you know, I think that's kind of cool. I think I'm going to do that. We're going to have one upside down and one right side up. All right. So, let's see. There's some glue on here. Let's see if I can get that glue up. There we go. Alright. Put on the umbrella. Down. There we go. Alright. And let's see how to do Okay, I did it this way because I wanted the umbrella to come down here. And this can go up to there. There we go. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Very cool. <laughs> Very cool. I like that. Oh, I'm excited about this one, possibly. Way more than my first one. Uh, okay. 
Oops, make sure it's all, don't want them all to come off now. Make sure I'm still in frame, and I am. Okay. All right, so we've got her down there. Now what else do I want to add? I'm going to move my one strip over. Um, hmm. <laughs> uh, da, 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 I don't want to add any of that into it. Let's see here. Let's see if I can find anything in my Somerset Studio magazine. So I'm just going to pull this over here just a second. Move some of this stuff. And... Uh, just real quick, I'm going to flip through this and see if there is anything that catches my eye that I think would be kind of cool on that. Like I said, there's so much stuff in these things. I could look at them and look at them over and over and over. And there's some artist pages. Those are always real cool. That's kind of cool. But now, uh, something maybe with like dots to make it look like it's been raining or something. Um, let's see here. No, oh, there's like some, like snow. I don't think that's going to work. This one's going to be really kind of crazy to add on to, by the way, that I have it. So maybe just some kind of words or something, even over that. Or a spray. It's crazy. Man, there's just so many cool things. Or I can just put dots on it myself, couldn't I? But I do like to put something else over the top of that. And after I said, look in here, then I'm not going to find anything that I want. Let's see here. Um, almost never, never word. Let's see here. Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, I think I might have found something that looks kind of cool. So I am going to tear this out. Hopefully, not ruin it. I'm tearing it out. I found a saying, and I don't know if, it, if it's going to go right with this, but it's it's uh, writing's upside down and right side up. So when you turn it one way, it's upside down, and one way it's not. So I figured with them up and down, that might be really cool. We can't see, but it all says on something. Says one, and then something that you... I don't know. I'm not for sure. <laughs> but I think it's like really cool that I just found that. Very, very cool. But I want it not to cover up everything. So I've got to tear it down quite a bit. And I probably am going to have to tear it in half. So what I'll do is I think I'm going to put one down here and I'm going to put one up here. Like I said, I want to get it minimal amount because I don't want to really take away from my lady. I like my lady. All right, let's see here. I like my lady. All right. Get some glue on this. That way, make sure I'm off the hole there. I just think this is really cool. I like this. All right, I'm gonna put that one there. All righty. And then, of course, I'm going to use my oils again because that's what I have out, but you can use anything you want to do highlighting and whatnot. So let's see here. I'm gonna do a little bit of, let's see here, uh, purple. Purple on the outline of it. Ooh. 
Alright. Some purple. Oh, do I really want to get any purple anywhere else? Maybe. Shading around. And then I'm going to add some. Oh, around the outside, I think I'm going to add a little bit of dark blue as well. And then this time, I think what I'm going to do oops, is I am just going to use a Q-tip, but I'm not going to use any of the baby oil this time. I'm just going to rub it in, blend it in with this. Let's see what I end up with. And it won't, because it's going to have a different appearance by me just rubbing it with the um i think the baby oil deepens it until you rub it maybe too much and then take a lot of it off but it smooths it out real easy there just want to really blend it good See if I want to add any more color to it or if I like it the way it is. Got some on it so I can kind of do smear it in different places. There we go. I think that's pretty, I think that's pretty doggone cool. Um try to blend some up here on this word part just so I need to try to blend everything in as much as possible I know I'm probably just babbling here but talking to myself my thoughts out loud to you guys all right so I think that one is really cool so that's my second one so we got our first and second one and I'm going to go ahead and do one more, but you're going to get the general idea. I could sit here and do these all night long. So, <laughs> and, uh, so let's see now, what do I want to use? I think, let's see. Well, where I got my medallion off, this would be cool. This is a, a medallion that I did and embossed and I've got a bunch of sprays on this paper. So I think this would be, um, pretty cool. And I don't know which side I want to start from, probably. Uh, let's see here. I'm just like her biggest tag. Yeah, she's got one that's kind of that wide. Let's see here. That way. All right, that'll work. So I'm going to do this. And it'll let me tear it because <laughs> it's on some thick black cardstock. And we're going to go with this. I think that's kind of cool. And let's see here. Do I want to do it? I'm going to keep the top straight. I'm going to get tear off and get this edge jagged. Or you could even use, you know, decorative scissors. But like I said, this is kind of like a, it's, it's all about ripping and tearing up scraps. So kind of want to try to stick to that as much as possible. All right, let's see here. Which side is the biggest? It looks like that medallion's coming up a little bit, so I'm going to want to... Is it higher? I don't know, but I like this side better. Uh, all right, I'm going to punch it at the top up here. All right, and here we go. Now, to find what I want to put on top of this. And let's see here. She was left over from a page I just had. Let's see what she looks like. It's like a plant bulb, which is kind of cool because this is like a flower type shape. Uh, kind of want to make her a little bit not as big though. So if I can go around the bulb a little bit rid of that. Uh, 
let's see here, maybe I'm gonna look at the bottom and I'm gonna go this way. Because I kinda wanna leave part of the word that is there. And I'm gonna take off the top of this and leave just that portion of her. Um, okay. And then find out where I want to place her. Uh, let's see here. I guess I can make I'll make her the center of attention and then we'll work around her. Some more glue here. Okay. Yep, we're gonna make her the center of attention. Put her bulb right there. It'll kind of make it look like she's got her bulb planted there. <laughs> ah. And this one I'm gonna probably have to make sure I have a lot of glue on it because with it already having sprays and paint on it and everything. I mean you might could even use a different glue, but I'm think this will still be okay. And if it's not, I guess I'll be re-gluing it, won't I? Alright, so I like her on there. That's really cool. Alright, so what next should we put on there? I have got some crinkle green paper. It already has texture, but I don't know that I like that. Um, oh, I know what I could put on there. I have got... And let me find it here. I'm rooting around in here. Just bear with me a second. Um, I'll use a portion of my on a different. Oh, here we go. I have um, a stencil um, from PM Artist Studio that's called Stompy Rocks, and I used some of it um, on one of my other ones. But this is their stencil, and let's use a little bit of it on here. Kind of like a pebbled pathway. Hey, this is like coming along really nicely. I'm really happy about that. Let's see here. So I can do this like across the bottom. What do you think? But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to, of course, shave down. Shave. <laughs> Tear off a little bit here so it fits better. And we're going to add a little bit of stumpy rocks to her. Okay, let's see here. Do I want to put it here? Or maybe I think I just want to kind of like do this. And I'll take off this last little piece. But I am saving every bit of this in my scraps. Because this is like gold. <laughs> to use on things like that. Any of that instant extra texture. I mean, sometimes you just need a little itty bitty piece and that's it. And works out really well. So let's get this one glued down. This is a pretty heavy piece of paper too. But I'm going to put a lot on there. A lot, a lot, a lot. And we're going to have it swing that way. There we go. I think that's kind of cool down there. So we'll add that. Uh, what else? I would like to add to it. Maybe a word or something. I had some... Do I have anything in my scrap thing with words? Hang on here a second. I'm going to look. I should have something that's got some little words on it. Oh, here we go. Uh, the rustle of leaves. Of course, she's a flower, but... Let's see here. So leaves. Here's some. Oh, I like this side here. I'm gonna use this instead. Love it when I sit there and pull something out, and it's just like, hey, <laughs> use me, use me. All right. So let's see where would I put that at? Uh, I'm gonna take it down just a little more. I don't want to take all of those. That's off, so let's see here. I could put that there. I could put this here. Well, let's see here. Uh, nope, it's going to have to go down here somewhere. So I guess I'll go that way with it, and then I can put that there. That might work. 
Let me go ahead and stick this one down first. It's coming along really nicely. I'm getting so excited here. Make sure I don't have it upside down. Because <laughs> that would be me. I would so put it upside down. <laughs> like so put it upside down. Oops. Go up a little bit more with it. It's not sliding on me. Okay. All right, now let's see. Do I want to go ahead and put that up there? I can still tear off a little bit more. It's sticking to me. Ah, get off. Uh, I think that's kind of cool right there. I don't know, though. Eh, that real, I don't know. Let me look at this again. What's left on here? I might want to use... Nope. Yep, yep, yep. I think I'm just going to have to use that part. Um, let me take that piece off and I'll like it better. Now it's a little bit better. Put that there. Okay. And, oops. I'm trying to have it touch the top there a little bit. Oh, my goodness. See, that's what I'm saying. This stuff is just wanting to. With what's all over on the paint already. Our paper already is a paint. It wants to slide. I'm going to do more glue. Because as soon as it slid, it messed it up. Was it going to stick? All right. There we go. Much better. Oh, I am so loving it. Now, I think I need to... I want to put a little something right there. And this is where I'd like to maybe have a big word possibly oh, check my scraps of course again to see if I have anything because if I do I'm going to want to utilize what I have and I'm hoping I do I don't want to do that let's see here a word, a word, a word, a word I need a word That's not a word. And if I have to, I can always use one of my Tim Holtz uh, that has their uh, his words in there. One of those. Oh, this smell. Let's see here. Okay. I've got some little papers here. Let me see here. Not that. Yeah. Not really interested in that. What's this one here? Nope. Nope, it doesn't have words. I think we're going to do this. Floor. either. Just as I smell. Hmm. I'm just not sure about that. Maybe I should just use one of these. Just some letters. I don't think I have my stamp book readily available. Give me just one moment, because if I do, I'm going to grab it. If not, I won't. All right, and I think I do. All right, hang on here, guys. I'm sorry. When you get another idea, you get another idea, you know? We have... Another bag that is not scraps, but it's got my letter things in there. Or so I thought it did. Now it's got some Tim Holtz stuff in here, but not what I wanted. Okay, so if I can't find something in here, then I think I might have to just deal with what I got right there. I 
there's what's this here? This is a lot more colorful. And I think I will do that. Tear around it. Because I have to be perfect. Of course, the rest of this is going in my little scrap bag over there. Alright. And we are going to add this over here. After, of course, I tear it some more because it's still too big for my taste. And I think it'll go right there perfectly. All right. So we'll get this stuck on there. And then we'll add a little bit more color around the edges. Maybe highlight something with my oils. And we'll see what the end result is. All right. So we want to kind of go like that, I think. Oh, I like that. I like this one. This might be my favorite one yet. Um, oh, and one other thing that I found. I wanted to add to it. Maybe. We'll see. I kind of like that little star, but I don't know. Is that going to look kind of stupid now? Just kind of wanted something up in that corner. Nope, we're going to take it off. I'm not going to use it. Okay. It was just a thought. A thought, but not one I want to do. All right. So I'm going to put my glue stick up so it doesn't dry out on me glue as precious as you all well know <laughs> all right so on the color on this and I kind of like the black on that so I really don't want to uh, mess with that too much so I think what I'm going to do because I do not have a gold oil pastel I will have to use one of my markers and I'm just going to go down the edges a little bit just a little bit of a highlight it doesn't have to be much I'm just trying to pick up a little color off it yeah it's doing it I'm going to go over the black this will be a shiny black gold color and I can always take an alcohol ink marker over it too if I want to There we go. Get across the top. Go ahead and do the other side. We're just going to go all the way around it. Even though there's gold already on this side, I'll still highlight it with something more. Let's just do it. I go over the whole thing. And let's just go over these flower humps right there, the medallions. Add them a little bit more color. Highlight them more. Go around my stompy rocks. Okay. And I'm going to go into this circle here. Add some more to that white portion. And then right there. Just kind of try to like to highlight a lot of stuff too because I like to try to not look like it's just pieced all together. I just really like it to blend in as much as possible. So, use a different color though on that. And I think what I'm going to put on that is the pastel. And I want, let's see here. I'm going to do this pinkish. Almost looks red, but we'll see what it ends up looking like when I get done. Give me another Q-tip. Hopefully I didn't mess this up by doing that. Just kind of was like, oh, I'm going to lay this down. <laughs> mm. 
I wanted it on there. I don't know that I wanted that deep though. So I'll just wipe some of it off. My Q tip and get it really blended in there. There we go. Much better. Uh, let's see. If I use it again. I'll be real light with it. I'm real light with it, then it won't be as much and it'll blend in just nicely. Alrighty, let's see here. Uh, here, let's see what happens here. I need another Q tip. This one just a little bit. That's what I wanted it to do. Okay. Still want a little bit more color in it. Let's see here. So green, gold. I don't know what I want to add to it. Oh, it's going to drive me crazy. Um, let's see. She's got a little bit of light blue in her eyes. There's like a mint green there. Um, and then we'll do a little bit of green in the flower section, maybe a little bit. Let's see what that looks like. I'll just use the other side of my Q-tip. And... Smear that in. And I apologize, I am left-handed, so my hand goes over my work. <laughs> uh. Okay. Go like this between the stompy rocks, because I really kind of wanted that white cover up, so maybe I'll add a little bit of... I don't want to do that. Maybe this... Like maize yellow a little bit maybe just a little bit in there and then maybe just a little bit of a, like a terracotta color in between those and another q-tip I'm really getting into this one this one I really really like and if I was to mess it up I would be very sad <laughs> And of course, I'll spray these two to seal them um, with all the different colors and that's on here. And then with oils, you definitely have to do it. I think that looks really good. I need to kind of go around the outside of it, I think. A little bit. There we go. And now, do I want to go around the edge with anything? To brighten it up a little more, like maybe with a... Oh, let's see here. She does have like an aqua in her eyes, so I'm going to kind of just go around the edge just a little bit, even though we did that gold. It didn't really brighten things up like I wanted it to. And I think this color will look pretty with all the other colors, so I will just add it into the mix just because I want to. Right? Because you can do anything you want when you do your rip strips and some mixed media angle with it. Yeah, you can, you can certainly do that. Most certainly. And let's see, do I got enough of where I want it to be? And let me make sure. Go around there. There. Okay, I just want to make sure there's enough in different spots. All right, and another Q-tip. I'm just going to lightly go over it because I don't want to have it go away. And I'd rather go in light than heavy with the oils because if I do put too much, 
I won't be happy with it. And then, um, but if you put just a little bit when you're doing a little bit of shading here or having a little touch to it, it's best not to just push it on there really hard because then you're going to have too much. Kind of like what I did with the pink. I did a little bit overkill on the pink. That's why I'm kind of trying to do a little darker with other pieces and parts. And such. And I think I still want a little bit more of it in there. So I'm going to go a little darker there. I'm going to go a little darker down here. Uh, right through here. I think I'm going to go a little darker. And along this edge. And I'm just going to say forget about my gold. And I'm just going to put some more on there. Because I really think it is pretty. Along with all the other colors. There we go. Alright, now I'm going to blend that in. And I think I'm going to call it done. So we'll see. We will see. I think it looks really pretty. Just a little bit. Just blend it in a little bit. Don't want to press too hard. It'll mess it up. Gently. There we go. All the stumpy rocks. And that'll kind of mix it, mix in a little bit more with the rocks. Because a lot of rocks have different colors in them, right? So. Okay. Almost done. And let's see here. I really, really like it a lot. I think I'm pretty well satisfied with it. What do you guys think? Do you like it? I think it's pretty cool. Oop, I got a hole on the top. It was definitely not blended at all. <laughs> didn't want. All right. Much better. All right. So we ended up with these three. And, uh, them in size order. I don't know which one you like best. Might not like any of them. I don't know. I hope you like some of them. And I hope you had fun watching me make them. I hope that uh, you go and you do this. Um, like I said, I'll, I'll put it down below how to play the tag game. And you tag whoever you want to make these rip strips. And I am going to tag Lisa McCarthy. Um, my friend Lisa with um, Sirius Hecka and I want you, Lisa, to um, do these and see what you can come out with uh, using all your scraps up. So thanks, you guys, for joining me. If you're new, please subscribe, uh, like, and hit the bell. Um, I would be so happy, and I really appreciate everybody else watching, and I will catch you another time. Um, happy crafting, guys. Stay safe, and I will catch you on the next video. Bye, guys.